friends welcome back to all and law today i'm going to talk about a microbiology medical video lecture that's a chronic granulomatous disease for usmle step 1 chronic granulomatous disease cgd okay guys so let's talk about this so to understand what's a chronic granulomatous disease is we need to understand some basic topics so that is a phagocytosis that's an intracellular oxygen dependent killing of intracellular organism as in a previous video i discussed about this okay so you can check it out so in this video i'm going to explain you what's the microbiology behind or immunology behind chronic granulomatous disease the CGD, the chronic granulomatous disease, is a disease that lacks an enzyme known as NADPH oxidase. Okay, and remember this is an X linked recessive. Okay, X linked recessive disease, inherited disease. So to understand what the CGD is, we need to understand what is the importance of NADPH oxidase enzyme. The NADPH, let me draw over here and explain you what NADPH does. Remember this is a phygosome, okay, membrane, phygosome membrane, right? The O2 enters into the cell is a O2 superoxide radical then it converts into what you call oxygen radical and hydrogen peroxide okay right so to kill an organism remember you need uh, three things either you produce hydroxyl radical or either you produce hydrogen peroxide that's a H2O2 or either you produce hypochlorite to kill oxygen dependent mechanism uh, to kill oxygen dependent to oxygen dependent mechanism okay what do you need you need three things hydroxyl radical hydrogen peroxide and hypochlorite and this is the main mechanism of killing an organism we have an another uh, what you call mechanism that is oxygen independent mechanism but it's very weak to control the infection okay so this is really very important now, the patient with CGD, that is a chronic granulomatous disease, he lacks this enzyme. And what does this enzyme do? Is this is the what it does over here, NADPH. Means, this NADPH oxidase reduces oxygen to superoxide anions, which further generates hydroxyl radical and hydrogen peroxide. And both these are microbicidal, right? Got it? Excellent guys, you got the point. Now let's see. Now, we have an, another enzyme known as meloperoxidase. Meloperoxidase. This is in the lysosome that acts on this hydrogen peroxide produced by the NADPH oxidase. Okay, and forms along with the chloride, along with the chloride forms what? Hypochlorite. It's yellow, right? Let me do the hypochlorite, okay? hypochlorite and this hypochlorite is again microbicidal so we came to know to kill an organism we need three things either you produce oxygen radical the hydroxyl radical or you produce hydrogen peroxide or you produce hypochlorite so we done with three things now the interesting thing comes i'm gonna tell you the most important and the most interesting thing in this in these patients infected in with the what you call a, affected with the CGD chronic granulomatous disease they always infected most of the time is a catalase positive organism they always have catalase positive organisms first tell me which are the catalase positive organisms over here one is a staph excellent remember in USMLE they can give the repeatedly the infection the patient is having staph infection or repeatedly he is having klebsiella klebsiella Kleb. 
Seracia, Seracia, or fungi like Aspergillus or Candida. Remember, Aspergillus is very important. Okay, Aspergillus. Okay, so these are the catalyst positive organisms, and these organisms repeatedly affect affect what you call CGD patients. Why? Why not catalyst negative? You might be asking. Good guys, remember the catalyst negative organism. Catalyst negative organisms. What they do? The catalyst negative organisms. What they do? They produce what you call H two O two. They produce H two O two. The since in CGD they don't they lack what you call NADPH oxidase, so H two O two is not produced. Right? The catalyst will produce H two O two instead of what you call uh, CGD instead of a uh, catalyst positive organism instead of NADPH oxidase right so when the H2O2 is produced this is microbicidal and this along with the chloride through the enzyme meloperoxidase acts and form a hypochlorite which acts and kills some organism that's why the patient of CGD doesn't have any infection or any infection with the catalyst negative organisms got it but the catalyst positive, the cat positive organisms, they won't produce H2O2. When they don't produce H2O2 and NADPH oxidase is also lacking, so no H2O2 is produced, no oxygen radical, no what you call, um, no, um, and the, the, the middle practices cannot form the hypochlorite because of no H2O2 hydrogen peroxide so no hypochlorite is formed so no hypochlorite no H2O2 so these things lack so these patients repeatedly will have a catalyst positive organism infection okay guys got it excellent right right this is really very important so remember in the CGT patients okay so they will have the repeatedly catalyst positive organism infection. So how do you test that? Failure of phagocytic cells to generate oxygen radical are easily detected by nitro blue tetrazoleum test, NBT, nitro blue tetrazoleum test, or neutrophil oxidative index, NOI, neutrophil oxidative index. That's it about this thing, about the CGT. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.